called no favors. It's called no favors. It's called if you are the high sheriff and anybody that's acting out of the scope of their duty, it's about handling your business as the high sheriff. It's, it's about you can't mix business and friendship together. We I've been a I've been in a political position since I became a, a police officer. You know, we that's one thing you can't you gotta you're gonna keep politics in this, but at the same time, with the politics that's that stays in, involved, you gotta make sure you do your job within the scope of the system. You cannot you can't give people special favors or a slap on a wrist and, and then expect different results. You got to do your job, even though it may not be the 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 right thing in other people's eyes, but it's it's about having integrity at all times. It's about um, making sure you ensure the safety of everyone involved, and, and and don't allow anyone else to sway your decision. Stand on what you say and mean what you say. Yeah, you know, and uh, and that's the sad part. But I tell anybody, um, uh, you know, I'm campaigning, and I and I've told them uh, I'm not a politician, and I don't think I ever be a politician. But I am a public servant, and I'm going to do what's right, um, and I'm going to do the right thing when called on. I, I don't get into the politics of it. The sheriff, the sheriff himself, is his own entity. His department is on his uh, his own entity. Our plan is to go out and help the community and let's exhale. Of course, we have to tackle the crime, but at the same time, uh, when it comes to being political, when it comes to uh, showboating and flashing around. That is definitely not going to be part of my sheriff's department. Uh, as sheriff, I do not have any alliances. Uh, I'm committed to the community. I'm related to hard work. Uh, and as sheriff, I'm going to make Hines County safe again. Uh, what you see is what you get uh, when you're dealing with Brandon Caston. Uh, I owe no favors. I owe the citizens of Hines County. One of the main things that I focus on and one of my main missions is to pull the sheriff's office from under the will and pleasure of the sheriff and make it civil service. I brought this up my last term that I, I, I ran and I'm going to stick to it because all my time as a deputy sheriff and even after I retired, I saw deputies punished, their money taken, transferred, demoted and even terminated because of who they supported politically. And that's wrong. The only thing about it is the reason why sheriffs don't do it is because once they go civil service, there is no going back and they don't want to lose that power. I have no desire for power. So I want to give the power to the employees and give them some protection. Good question. I, I feel that uh, this is my first time ever running for a public office. Uh, never had, never thought I would ever be a politician. And I, I feel that that would be a very difficult situation to do, but I'm also a, I'm a 31 year law enforcement veteran. Okay. So my belief is that if you, if you, if you stay with what the law is and you do that, which is right, I know it won't always be that easy. It sounds easy. I know it will be difficult, but you're talking to someone, like I said, I always believe that as a law enforcement officer, I have an oath to keep, and that should not transcend because I'm an elected official. I go into that gray area. I'm a firm believer. You do that which is right. You follow the law. Of course, there will be times that I will have to address issues such as that question, and I pray that I will continue to keep the mindset that I have kept for 31 years is that as a sworn law enforcement officer, I have an obligation to do that which is right. So now, ask me once I'm elected, Beverly, you hear now, what, what are you going to do? And I'll come right back to it. I mo Everything that I do involves prayer. Even when making decisions as a supervisor, and I have supervised both police officers, military officers, as well as FBI agents, and I know that politics plays a role, but these 31 years I've been fortunate because most everybody knows me, know that, that is, that's me, that defines me. 
um, as it relates to um, being honest, fair, and doing the right thing. That's yeah. it. The law is the law, and uh, there are rules and guidelines. And we are to stay within those rules and guidelines. No one is above the law. So if you're breaking the law, just be expected to, uh, whereas there's uh, problems that occur, there are consequences. So I'm not going to treat anyone any better. I'm not going to treat, uh, I don't care if they say, well, I'm this person in society, I'm this. Well, right is right and wrong is wrong. And we'll let the judge figure it out on the other end. Well, fortunately, I'm not a politician. And I'm not running as a politician, but this position requires about a 50-50 mix of political and law enforcement. But what I bring to the table and how we're going to work that, we're going to keep politics in its right perspective. Now, I will handle the political part, but what we got to do, we got to go in, we got to build a team, and my team is going to be the one that's going to carry out the function of law enforcement. Let me do the political part. Well, one right now, currently uh, we have 13 individuals who are uh, b uh, bidding for this uh, position. I'm one of the only ones who is still actively out on the streets. I don't have an administrative job. I'm not downtown in uh, headquarters. I am actively still working a beat in a precinct. And uh, prior to coming here, I was on the highway running radar. So you have to make sure that you do not remove yourself from the the ultimate uh, goal in the job is to steal police. If you forget policing, then you lose all of your subordinates. You lose all the respect of your subordinates. Therefore, they're not going to be efficient at doing their job as they, as they should. So you have to make sure that you don't get so caught up into the administrative part. You, uh, you keep policing first and foremost. Still be able to do the business, but policing has to be at the forefront. Well, that's an easy question to answer. Well, I'm not a politician. Never have been, never will be. Uh, I, if you'd asked me in 2015 if I'd ever run for a public office, I'd have told you you're crazy. Uh, I think what is going on in our board members, in our boardroom is appalling. We tell our kids to act, act decent, act respectful, respect the police. Now, how can we tell them to do that when they look, watch TV and see our elected officials acting disorderly Challenging law enforcement and uh, disrespecting them, telling them they're not, they're not worried about them. This is very opposite of the message we're trying to put across to our youth. So the sheriff is in control of the boardroom, all the courthouses in Hines County. He's responsible to make sure that my order is maintained and for safety and security. He doesn't need the board of supervisors' permission to remove somebody from a boardroom. The first time that ever happened, it should have been dealt with right then. But I'm not a politician and I'm not intimidated and I'm at all by corrupt politicians and I will not be bullied or pushed around. I will hold every politician in Hines County accountable to do their job just like I'm gonna do mine. All right. Again, that, that is a good one, but it's not hard to answer. Politics has its place. While I'm running for office, I'm dealing with people. The voters that have an opinion. The voters, if the one can step in, and it's time for all the voters to roll their sleeve up and go back to some old way that works. You earn by the sweat of your brow. You get in there and you being able to separate your personal uh, from what's at hand and safety and protection for the public is first priority. Hold your officials accountable. Get involved. You, the voters. Get involved as a family, and together, we can work it out. Since it's uh, elected and politics is, politics is going to always be in law enforcement because it's an elected position. Being elected and keeping politics out of it is a relationship you build. That's where you get trust. When you trust people, you get more people to stand behind you. It takes the politics out of it. That's how we do that. Relationships. Relationship with the community. That takes out the politics. The sheriff is elected by the people. The board of supervisors are elected by the people. 
By no means necessary does the sheriff or anyone within the sheriff's office answer to anyone outside of the sheriff's office. The sheriff answers to the people. The board of supervisors are only responsible for the budget and the detention facilities. The detention facilities belong to the board of supervisors. The sheriff is responsible for the upkeep, the security, I'm, I'm sorry, not the upkeep, the security and the day-to-day uh, -day activities of the detention facility facilities to include the detainees. But as it relates to politics, we answer to the people and we have no means of answering to anything else but the people. But again, you have to have that working relationship with the Board of Supervisors regarding your budget. But at no time, at any point, should a decision be made by the Hines County Board of Supervisors for the Hines County Sheriff's Office. That should be handled by the elected sheriff, him or herself. Well, the good news about the Sheriff's Office is it is a law enforcement office. People don't really care about personalities. They don't care about how you make them feel. They want to feel safe. That's the only thing they care about. So what I'm going to do is keep the politics out of it, is keep the main thing the main thing. And the main thing is putting models and plans, crime fighting plans together to ensure that the constituency is safe, that they can sit outside on their porch and have a conversation with their neighbor, drink tea on the porch and be comfortable uh, having that uh, drink tea without worrying about drive-bys or shots being fired in their neighborhood. So this is not a popularity position. People want somebody who is capable, competent, and uh, certainly committed uh, to making their quality of life better by keeping them and their families safe. So I think the politics is one of those things that is separated uh, from a law enforcement position like the sheriff's office just by virtue of the job responsibility of the sheriff.